welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library. I am your host, Rocky Romanella. We've been talking about soft skills. We talked about the four, the three skills prior to of uh, faith, hope, charity, and now the fourth one, patience. And patience as applied to business decisions. I think if you think about patience, it's the ability to endure difficult circumstances, to take the necessary time. It may imply to your people this quality of calmness. You know what I mean? You're calm, you take the time, you're thoughtful in your decisions. I think at the appropriate time, it also shows stability, right? You're not the person bouncing off of walls. Now, look, I clearly understand that patience isn't the right tact to take when there's a fire. I got it. But we talked a little bit about that. I think patience, though, is, is one of those skills that we don't talk enough about when it comes to decision making. And I, I think that a, a person that understands patience and understands how to use patience in the decision-making process also shows courage in their ability to make decisions, right? So let's talk a little bit of how that may work. So let's think about, let me give you a quick example. You have two people in your organization that you trust. They both bring you good ideas quite often. And now they come to you, you've asked them to solve a problem, and they come to you with two, di two ideas different in their approaches, but both get to the end result. Now you have a decision to make. Now, a person who doesn't exercise patience would do what? They just make a decision. They'd pick a winner or a loser, which is what I don't like about that, right? They both got, they both got good answers. They both got a way forward, but now it almost becomes like a judicial process. I'm gonna hit the gavel and pick a winner or a loser. Well, why does it have to be a winner and loser of this? They both have good, good ideas. Patience now says, I take a step back and I look at both of them and say, I like both of you have different approaches. You both get to the, you get to the right answer. How about we do this? Why don't we take a step back? Why don't both of you go back and take the best parts of both of your ideas and maybe put them together and then we don't stop at the first right answer from you or you, and we get a better decision. I think that in that instance, being a patient decision maker now helps us maybe get a better decision, keep them both involved. Because once I do the judicial process, hitting the gavel and picking a winner or a loser, the other person will participate, but they're not participating, you know, Fully because what? Their, their, their solution wasn't picked. But if I can get both of their solutions to be part of it, well, now they're both still engaged. They're both still involved. And now maybe we get to a better decision. Now we went from a judicial process or a judicial session of where I had to make a decision to a brainstorming decision where we're going to work together and we're going to get to that answer. So this is when I think... And I believe patience becomes a strength and not a weakness. Because now we can challenge each of them to not stop at that first right answer, to look past this first right answer, and to see if there's more of an inclusive answer that keeps everyone involved in a solution. And it takes us maybe a step further, and, in a, and maybe we, we get more people involved in, in the solution. But this only happens when we exercise patience in the process. I want to thank you for being part of the Leadership Library. Remember those four soft skills, faith, hope, charity, and patience. These are soft skills that can help us get great results. Be safe until we meet again.